pre-workout kind of a day. We've got chest and back, which again, balance element. We're still doing the balance element with chest and back. So you know what I'm gonna tell you? I'm gonna tell you what. I'm not saving push-ups for the end of this circuit. We're gonna do it in the first circuit, okay? Because I don't think I have the strength to try to balance on one foot and do push-ups near the end of the workout. So we're gonna do it closer to the beginning. So anyway, oh, thank you. It'll alert me over here, but I just saw a heart pop up. Yesterday when I streamed, there was a few hearts. So thank you again. If you guys ever tune in for my gym classes, Grand Dude, 1965. Hello and welcome, thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. Yeah, so if you ever join me for my evening classes, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, actually Saturday, 10 a.m., Saturday morning, Eastern, I should clarify, Eastern is my time zone. I'm a Midwest Hoosier from Indiana. Um, but when I teach those classes, I'm just like in it until we're done. And even after we're done, I usually socialize with the people in my class. And then I come back to the screen and I'm, I'm like talking to my online besties, my sweaty besties here. So, if you're ever like, why isn't she paying attention? I do try to pay attention, but when I teach a class, we're like, go from start to finish. So, it's usually 45 minutes to an hour. Depends on how many songs I feel like doing. <laughs> I advertise that it's a 45 minute long class, but sometimes we just go over it. Cause some, some people request songs and I'm like, I'm adding it to what's already there. And they're like, okay. It's like, all right, might be a little longer. But you can expect this type of workout is only gonna be 35 minutes from start to finish. That means about eight minutes of a warm up, eight minutes of a stretch. That's what, 16 minutes. So 16 of those minutes are gonna be a little bit easier movement, okay? But a good like 19 minutes is gonna be, actually it's six times three, it's 18 minutes of physical work, okay? We have a little break in between. Hi, damn man, good oh boy. All right, so get your little bed out. Batman likes to sit in his little bed. Yeah, you wanna lay in your little bed? Be all cutesy. Here you go. Yep, lay down. Lay down, bud. All right, so you guys ready? I'm ready. Eva, thanks for joining. I'm getting started a, a little bit later. I had a computer malfunction, camera malfunction, and I was just pushing different buttons. Thanks again to Grotlick for helping me to understand what certain buttons mean, because I seriously messed up. <laughs> I did push one button wrong. Studio something? I don't know. Anywho, if you guys are ready, I think I'm ready. Hola, hola. You guys good? Good to go? Shall we? I'm gonna turn this off. It's already 12.50. All right, wait, I don't wanna do screen recorder. What am I doing? I'm gonna do airplane mode. So anybody that calls me, I'm not talking to them. <laughs> Cause I'm here, right here with you guys, right here, right now. And we are going to kick some booty today. So again, whoa, hey, 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 hey. You guys, you're not, you're not playing, you're not fighting. We're we're working out here. Oh, thank you for the heart. Who followed? Oh, I gotta hurry. <gasps> Luna Brujas or Brujas. Thank you, Brujas. Luna Brujas. Thanks for being here. Welcome to my channel. These are my dogs. They play. I feel like half the time people show up just to watch them. That's understandable. I'd probably do the same. But if you're here to work out, we're getting started like right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the clock. We've got about one minute. So this is chest and back which means you're gonna need a variety of weights, but this element's component, this week's component, element, whatever you wanna call it, is balance. So you'll notice from week to week, the structure does change slightly, but you'll always have leg day Monday, Tuesday BTS, biceps, triceps, shoulders, Wednesday core mobility, a lot of mobility and stretching, Thursday chest and back, Friday full body Friday, but every week is a different component to that. So this week is balance week. Last week we had volume week, so we slowed down, we lifted heavy. This is gonna be a little bit less weight, but the component is trying to stay on one leg for the majority of these moves. Huh! So it's a lot, I know, it's a lot, it's a lot. 18 seconds, if you guys are ready. Um, thank you, girl, I'm here to work out with you. Sweet, Luna, awesome, sounds good. All right, let's go ahead and start. Knees up high, pull your abs in. Shoulders are dropped if you don't like the music. Too bad? No. <laughs> If you don't like the music, you can always play your own music. I'm usually louder than the music. First move, showing you to the side, make sure the knee comes up, almost to belly button height. Squeezing those shoulder blades backwards. Sometimes I go to the beat, boom, boom, there it is. Again, it's, I think it's more fun to go to a beat. This is my fitness instructor side coming out. I'm like, if there's a beat, we gotta hit it. We gotta hit it. Honestly, it makes the workouts go so much faster for me. 
when I can just like find the beat and just, you know, have some fun with this. Keep on breathing. Whenever your knee comes up, that's when you're, you're exhaling, you're contracting that core. Keep going. It's the warm up, but I like to keep you moving even though the clock stops. So you're gonna see six moves for the warm up. This is our first move. So if you're joining, join right now and get you a good warm up. Heel, butt kick from the side. Looks like this. RV, knocking over my camera. Flex those arms, shoulder blades, squeeze back. Keep going, guys. I gotta fix my clock. Because RV. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm trying to do something here. Okay. Keep going. Kick that butt. Squeeze. Squeeze. Flex those arms. So this is a hamstring curl. Watch out, Harp. Kick you in the head and he won't even care. <laughs> you wanna go aside? You wanna go aside? He's like, not really. Yeah, go aside. Go. Nope. <laughs> He's like, nope. I'm just hanging. I'm just hanging. Because dad's not here, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna bug you. <laughs> oh, and then he goes up to the door. Too late, buddy. Too late. Keep going, guys. Pinching those shoulder blades, pulling your abs in. You remember, not hyperextended. All right, feet underneath your hips. Give me a squat with a reach, pull. Stand up, open your chest. Ready, keep going. Down, pull, push through those heels. Squat, pull, reach, out, squat. Pushing through the heels, chest stays up. Do a few more. Woo! Two. Give me one more, then we're gonna take it wide with our tailbone tucked under. So let me show you. Tailbone under, squeeze your core. We go drop with a lat pull. Pushing through those heels. Woo! Remember, this is not about like, uh, booty out. Tuck your tailbone under, okay? That's what it is. Drop, squeeze. Woo! Drop, squeeze. Does he understand treat or yummy? I tell mine, yummy, yummy, and she runs to the supposed treat or food. I love it. Probably. Honestly, they do know T-R-E-A-T. Woo. I think I might have to say it with a certain inflection. Last one. All right, stand up at the front of the mat, or front. We're gonna lunge back with a twist, and then we switch. I'm gonna go to the beat. Here we go. Rock it out. So back lunge, chop, pull those abs in. I feel dogs can spell. <laughs> Girl, like, you're probably right about that. I know, whenever I try to be secret, Batman's always like, oh, she's trying to be secret. And then he'll pay attention even more. Actually, what's really funny in our house, I mean, Eddie, he is on a trip. I'm so proud of him, he left the home. He left the home. Guys, out of my way. Out of my way. I'm trying to do something here. All right, so Eddie rarely leaves the house. Why do you look funny, Batman? Why do you look funny? Here, I'm just gonna keep this open. You guys can go outside. Go on, go outside, go outside. All right, guys, take your feet wide. You guys are so needy today. You got an itchy booty? This is what he does. <laughs> he turns his butt to the side and he's like, itch my butt. <laughs> itch that booty. You got an itchy booty? Side lunges. If you want a deeper stretch, you're gonna come down, touch that floor. Oh, Batman, what? No. <laughs> like, Mom, my butt itches. Well, I'm not gonna itch it. I don't want your butt juice all over my yoga mat. This is what I deal with. Why can't you find carpet and do that on there? Okay, I'm gonna have to like. <laughs> that's that's why I opened the door, bud. You got something coming? Gosh, Batman. So gross. My face is gonna be here. Keep stretching, guys. I'm just gonna stretch and clean while I'm at it. Clean while I'm at it. Goodness. Seriously. Seriously. All right. All right. There it is. New move. Go to the back of your mat. Big it up. This is quite entertaining today. Exhale. High plank. Pull your abs in. Drop to your knees. Child's pose. I was like, my face is gonna be right there in the next move. I was like, let me just, let me just wipe it off. Inhale up. Exhale down. High plank, pull those abs in, drop to your knees, child's pose. We're gonna do that one more, one or two more times. I'm gonna do it twice. 
And if you're ready for it, you can, instead of a child's pose, give me a downward dog. Knees soft, drive your heels down, bring that chest back, and plank, walk back. One more time. We got time, so I'm gonna do it. Down dog. And back to plank. Nice job, you guys. Walk it all the way back. Good work today. Woo! All right, what are we doing? Gonna grab a little drink, pet the dog, tell him you still love him. Okay. Mm. Oh my word. I just spilled pre workout. <laughs> oh my. Man, what is with me today? When it's like one thing that goes wrong, it's usually like, hold on, well, there's a mirror. <laughs> it's usually like a whole bunch of stuff that goes wrong. But you know what? It is what it is. Things could be worse. I'm really okay with it. All right, I'm gonna shut that door. And we are going to focus on chest and back. I told you we're gonna crank out these push-ups first, okay? So what I want you to do, you don't need put you don't need weights for the push-up portion unless you want to lay on your back and give me one arm at a time. Okay, you could even do it this way, and then we'll switch to the other side. But if you can get on the ground, do it with me. I'm gonna show you another variation. Just make sure your tailbone tucks under, you squeeze your core, your hands are directly underneath your chest. I know just take it out a little bit wider than that, actually. I'm not moving side to side. Now here's one variation. Second variation, you're gonna balance. Okay? Third variation, pull your abs in. And we're just gonna do one foot up for 45 seconds. And then 45 seconds with your other foot. Now if this is a lot, which I'm gonna tell you, it kind of is. So I'm going to stay on my knee, at least for the first circuit. So I don't hurt myself here. And make sure you can even fan out your fingers. Just make sure your abs are pulled in, tailbone is tucked under, and you're pushing away from that floor with the bottom of those hands, the heels of those hands, and your elbows line up with your wrists. A little stretch. I know it's a lot, but like I said, we're gonna do this in the beginning because push-ups at the end of this workout are near death, in <laughs> near impossible. What did you say? All right, pull your abs in. Make sure you propel with your body forward. Down. And up, you're gonna notice one side takes a little bit more weight, right? So that's the imbalance part. Core is tight, make sure that butt is not here. You're tucking your tailbone under. You're lifting your leg just a little bit. Not too bad though, right? You got it. Woo! Keep going. Almost there. Not breathing because it's hard. I'm gonna take it up a little bit higher so I can go a little bit further without rolling off my kneecap. That's why I bent the knee a little more. All right, I'm gonna stop there. Grab light weights. I'm gonna go ahead and grab, I could probably do this with my nines. We're gonna give that a choice, a chance. So, shoulders dropped. What I want you to do here, hinge, stay on your right leg. Squeeze those shoulder blades, okay? So the balance element, you're here, and you're just lifting your foot up slightly off the ground, keeping your hips square, your core engaged, pinching the shoulder blades at the top. Remember, the leg you're standing on should stay soft. Abs pulled in, balance, whoo! Again, those legs are probably gonna feel it this week. I don't know about you guys, but by Thursday, today, I'm really feeling it. Make sure you pinch those shoulder blades. If it's too much, you can always do this instead. Wide row, okay? You can do that instead. Whatever works for you. Whew, if it's getting too heavy, you can also do a narrow row. All right, go ahead and stand up. We're gonna do that whole circuit again, but instead of going back to chest, we're just gonna switch that leg out. So we're gonna work the back a little more. Tim Pollen! That's a new level of dedication, right? Champagne, Kyle! Community, Tommy, thanks for being here. Shoulders dropped. I don't know if I said that right. We've got back fly, squeezing the shoulder blades. Woo! But the balance element is adding on so much more of a challenge, right? Again, if you feel this in your low back, you might be hyperextended. So tuck your tailbone under and just squeeze your glute and just lift your toe off 
the ground slightly this is not about how high your leg can go this is about keeping your body structured not opening to the side keeping your back flat chest lifted squeezing the shoulder blades at the top again too much go wide row all right good news we're gonna stop right there Whew. all right guys they're clever enough to realize the first time you let them know it's actually work they'll never ever ever get one right <laughs> all right i'm going to actually i'm going to try this on my toes ready again to get in the right space just move those thumbs out from your top rib span your elbows back shoulders are dropped push through but make sure you tuck your tailbone and keep your core tight that's the proper alignment again balance element i feel like i'm lifting my leg a little too much because i want to make sure that my butt's not up it's actually tucked under core is tight wow I'm trying to reserve my strength conserve reserve if it's too much again go to that knee i can feel it in my shoulder of that back arm so that's why i drop down to the elbow stretch and get ready set it up again remember if you're not in the right position shoulders away from your ears hands in line with your wrists pull those fingers out slightly tuck your tailbone under squeeze your core there it is if you got good form and you feel like you can challenge yourself add that balance component or whoo, you're on those toes keeping the core tight keep your head and spine in alignment you're looking slightly forward you're not looking down towards your fingers you're looking forward slightly again starting to feel it too much in that shoulder again i need to make sure i'm not over training those arms so i will modify and put my ego aside and i'm gonna stop right there wow go ahead and stretch it out good job you guys all right what that was crazy okay you get a minute break let me make sure my camera's still on over here yep all right guys Woo! take a little breather all right there must be like a hole in this lid i think that's what's happening all right, we start in 30 seconds. All right, maybe it's the cup. I just need to use a glass. <laughs> All right, chest and back. A little bit more back. The first circuit, we did more chest. So we're gonna be working back, but balance. We're gonna be towards the floor. And go ahead and grab I'm gonna go ahead and grab my, let's see. I'm gonna grab my 15s. Ooh, can I pause it? I'm gonna pause it, you guys. I don't wanna waste anybody's time. So take it down to the floor, balance component. Okay, we're gonna do opposite leg is up, pull your abs in, and you're just doing one arm, okay? And then the next 45 we switch. Okay, so if it's your right leg, it should be your left arm doing the work. Okay, pulling your abs in, not opening your hips. You wanna tuck your tailbone under, squeeze your low abs, okay? And squeeze your glute, okay? Then we're gonna lie it down and balance component for chest, okay? We're gonna do a chest fly, kind of like a, a wide press where we're just gonna come down and up, okay? Balance component. We're actually going to do a glute bridge, but I'd like you to, this is where it's fun, you're gonna try to balance on one leg. Can we do it? And I'll show it to you when we get there, okay? Is that cool with everybody? Those are the three moves, and then we're gonna repeat those three moves, all right? So we'll do two back exercises, two chest exercises, two back, two chest. Does that make sense? Two, 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 two. We just need to get to six minutes. That's all it is. Okay, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. Um, she should try streaming in the just chatting session, what she's doing. 
is impressive and would get more views there. Oh, thanks, yuck, yuck. Yeah, who knows? I mean, I know it's not necessarily. I mean, it's a workout. I feel like people who are wanting to work out will find it. The people who are just there to chat will probably just want to chat. <laughs> I know, but maybe. Thank you for the thank you for the recommendation. I will. I will consider it. I actually, I don't even know how to do it in the just chatting. I can see it like when I log it, but my husband usually does the setup for me. But that's probably a good idea just to like put it out there. All right, get in position. The clock starts like right now. Okay, so remember, we'll go right arm and left leg get on the ground. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Abs pulled in, shoulders away from your ears. Lift that leg up slightly, squeeze, and drop. Squeeze, and drop. Nice job. We're not counting reps, we're just going, going the distance. Not really going for speed either. We're just going enough that we can feel it. Squeezing those shoulder blades back. For the second set, I might actually Try my 20s, okay? Because I can feel like, oh yeah. I mean, I feel it. Thank you, Batman. Do you see him? I put coconut oil on my legs and I'm like, oh no. He found it. Batman. I mean, I will be showering after this. Hi, buddy. Thank you for the kisses. So, I mean, it's kind of gross dog breath, but you know, what are you gonna do? All right, your right leg, if, you're, if we're mirrored. Shoulders drop, squeeze your core and pull that left arm up. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Is that bouncy girl? Thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. Welcome to my stream where a sweaty besties get together and work out. So you can always expect a workout. 12.30 the stream starts. 12.45 we get to work for 35 minutes. So usually by 1.20 p.m. Eastern, we're done with the workout. So I don't usually stop the clock unless I need to explain something, but normally I don't. So you're gonna see us work out and just do the best we can. Squeeze in the back. All right, guys, we're gonna lie down on our back. Continue that balance component. I'm gonna take off my hat so I can actually lay down, curl it up. Bring your heels together, hands together, okay? Now we're gonna go palms face in, we're gonna go out and in, okay? Now, balance component, tuck your shoulder under. Back and wide! Okay, this is happening and I have no hands to stop it. So it is what it is. <laughs> as long as it stays out of my mouth, it's a little better. And out of my eyeballs. <laughs> All right, so lift up that one leg. It's my left leg, probably your right leg. I think it's harder if you go lower. So I'm gonna keep my leg straight up. Okay, just make sure your tailbone is tucked under. Okay, Batman. Okay. Elbows come down a little bit lower than your shoulders. Okay. You're just giving me that slack. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I love you too, brother. All right, take just a little breather. Move the dog out of the way. I'm just gonna do this. I know it looks weird. Wait, I can't get my head in there. It's too tight. How do I do this? I'm gonna do this. Okay, here we go. Oh, something. Then I can't see him. I don't want to hit him with the weight. Oh my god. I don't want to hit him with the weight. All right, squeeze it up. Tailbone touch under. Squeeze your glutes. If you can squeeze your glutes and maintain that, then you add the balance component. If you feel like you're dropping your butt, squeeze your glutes and stay right there. Okay. So again, the balance component is there, and you're squeezing. It's in between a chest fly and a chest press. Okay. Make sure you have a firm grip. It's not going anywhere. Oh man, what did I say that was harder? <laughs> yeah, let me point my leg up. I don't wanna get this hard. Shoulders, stay dropped. Elbows go a little bit lower than your shoulders. I don't know if you can see that angle. Okay, stop right there. Wow. Okay, I'm actually gonna switch to my 20s for this next move. Pull your abs in. Let's go down to those knees. Go ahead and lift up your right leg and let's do your left arm, okay? Squeeze your left, come back down. Make sure your hips are square. Pull your low abs in, squeeze the shoulder blades, come back down. Nice job, you guys. Woo! Yep, heavier was a better decision because now I really feel like my balance is challenged. 
because that's what the component is this week. Challenging ourselves with balance. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Notice how the elbow here is not locked. Keep a soft elbow right there. Make sure your leg is not up here either, okay? If your leg's too high, you risk hurting your low back, okay? This is about just lifting up the leg enough that you feel it. Whew. Nice job, guys. A little back stretch if you need it. Cat cow position. Now go ahead and switch your left leg here and your right arm. Harvey's like, look at you, mom. Hold on, bud. Hold on. Here we go. Squeeze the back. Come back down. Pinch those shoulder blades. Remember, shoulders stay away from your ears. Harvey. Harvey, hold on. Squeeze. He's a big old husky. He is fine outside. He's got layers and layers of hair. It's actually warmer outside and really sunny. It is so pretty here in Indiana. I mean, as pretty as it can be in December. Woo! Pinch the shoulder blade. Notice how I'm not locking. I'm not letting go. I want to hold it in place. So I get the most out of this. So my muscles stay contracted for the full 45 seconds. One more. Nice job, you guys. All right, move it out of the way. Go ahead and lie it down. Repeating that last, oh wait, no. You know what? We did chest back. Back with each of the other arm. I think we're done with this. Yes, okay. I couldn't add. I was like, wait a minute. We get a little break. We get a little break, y'all. No, no, she is strong. <laughs> right? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Harv. Come on in. Honestly, this is all I do for strength training, you guys. Because I want to show to you, you don't have to beat yourself up. You don't have to work out hours upon hours upon hours. Okay? Trust me. Join these workouts. Seriously, think about it. Where are you going to be by, the, by June of 2024? Make a commitment right here with me right now. 22 seconds left. All right, balance again. This time, we're gonna do it all. Let's do it. Right leg is the component the whole time. So stay right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my 15. You're gonna stand. Back exercise, okay? Right leg is back. Try to hinge a little bit more, okay? And I want you to go palms face forward and you do a row this way, okay? So notice how the palms are forward. Again, you're kicking that leg up just slightly, and notice how I'm not opening the hip, okay? So I wanna keep my, my back, my kinetic chain, really straight here. So everything that's facing the ceiling is working, right? Upper back, woo! Also the biceps a little bit. Middle back, lower back, glutes, even your hamstrings are engaged. And the leg you're standing on stays soft. Okay, pinch those shoulder blades. How many dogs are there? Wow, there's a few. Yeah, I have a few dogs. <laughs> nice job, you guys. Perfect. Wow, can you feel that? That was a lot. That was a lot. <sighs> Shoulders back. We're gonna do another back exercise. This time, instead of palms face up, your arms are wide. Palms now face you, same idea. Still on the right leg. If it's too much, you might need to place both feet down. Support your back, okay? But if you have the strength, kick that leg back. It's the same angle, whether you're here, okay? Tuck your tailbone under slightly. Keep your shoulders dropped. Or here. Pinch those shoulder blades. Yes, that right leg is working. I know. I know it is. Woo! Oh my goodness, you guys. This is tough. So stand up out of it. Do one more with both feet down. Nice work. Good job, guys. All right. I'm going to challenge myself because this is our last set. I'm going to stick with my... I'm going to go back to my 20s, actually. This is going to be a chest press. All right. Pull your abs in. Now, the balance comes from here. Right leg is out. Palms face up. Give me just a straight press. But at the top, keep it wide and don't go all the way up. Abs are pulled in. Tuck your tailbone under. If it's too much, come back here. The balance component though. 
trying to keep your body balanced as you do this exercise. Wow. Can you feel it? The low abs have to work overtime. Remember, act like you're holding a bar across your body. Okay, so line up with your chest. And then at the top, you go three-fourths of the way up. This would be all the way up. I want you here. Okay, guess what? We're gonna just stay right here. We're gonna repeat that, okay? Other leg, left leg is out now. If you need to go to lighter weight, go ahead and do that. Pull your abs in, lift the weight, palms face front. Here we go, second set. Down and up. Oh my goodness, you guys. Woo! I'm gonna go ahead and take it down to my 15s. So I can tell, I'm starting to hit that part where I'm feeling it in my shoulders a little bit too much. There we go, that's better. Woo! Remember, shoulders stay away from your ears. Elbows lower than your shoulders. Whew. Pull those abs in, back stays flat. If it's too much, you're here. Or you can always take it down, okay? Keep your arms wide at the top. And stop right there. Wow, good job, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and pick it up. Woo! Get that sweat out of my head. Good job. We're gonna repeat that under. I'm gonna go to my 20s with it. Shoulders back and down. Instead of standing on your right leg, get on your left leg. Palms face forward, shoulders back and down. Hinge and row. There it is. Again, you're either here, both feet planted. Make sure your tailbone's not under or below. You're in a, you're in a flat back position, okay? So squeeze. Again, you have the balance. And you can do it. Lift that leg slightly. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Pinch those shoulders at the very top of that movement. Tilt your chin down slightly. I'm gonna tell you what. I am gonna drop to my 15. I feel it in my forearms too. Woo! All right, stay on that left leg. Your left leg. Shoulders back, same position, but now your palms, palms face you. Hinge, wide row, and come back down. Remember, you can do it from this side, okay? This balance just adds that new level of back strength and also leg strength. Woo! Pinch the shoulder blades at the top. Come on, you guys, you're here for a reason. You might have come here just to lurk, to check this out, but I challenge you, tomorrow we have Full Body Friday. So we're gonna put some of these moves we did earlier in the week into one workout where we really push, push ourselves. All right, stand up. Oh my goodness, you guys. Woo! It's hard. It's meant to be hard. It's a challenge, okay? But every time we challenge ourselves, we come out stronger on the other side. It's about to complete. We're gonna finish up with our stretch soon, okay? Oh my word. I'm gonna have to watch this. All right. You ready to stretch with me? Go ahead and do it. We're gonna grab. If you have a towel, I highly, highly, highly recommend you grab it, okay? This is gonna be a great stretch for your chest, okay? And I like to do multiple stretches, okay? If you're like, I can't do one of those moves, then just pick the other move, okay? So, we're gonna get down into a squat, push down, chest is open, and I just want you opening your chest and then coming back up. If that's a struggle, you're right here. Tuck your tailbone under, so you don't lose circulation. And you're just opening and saying this. I need 12 pound weights, got 10s, and skip straight to 15. Yo, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's a big jump, Eva. All right, let's sit down into it. This will help you to eventually get those heels on the ground. Open up those hips even more. So every stretch is about 45 seconds. We're just opening. 
Now, if you have the flexibility and you can hold it, then I want you out and just hold it right here. Stay in this position. You're just opening that chest. Whoo! If it's too much, you can go further on the, on the towel. If it's not enough, there it is. I just went a little bit narrower on the towel instead of wider. Wow. Good job, you guys. Good work. All right. This one, I really, I know I've talked about elongation stretches, but I want you to really, really, really have more flexibility. Now, there's a couple options here. You can drop your head or you can put that towel underneath and you can stand on it. Make sure you don't lose it. And you just pull your body towards the floor. Okay, knees are still soft. You're gonna feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Try to let go of your abs. Feel that in your, stretching out the low back. I've even done it where I've stood on my hands. I'm gonna put my towel there so it doesn't hurt. And I kinda pull. Again, listen to the body. This is just about your own flexibility. Letting the head fall. I'm gonna lose that hat for a little bit. Nice job, you guys. <sighs> Let's come up out of it. Good work. Let's go ahead and take a seat. And take out one foot. Same idea, if you have a towel, you're gonna try to pull. And I like to actually get a deeper stretch in my side body. So take your foot out and you can kind of pull here or reach for it. So you're feeling that pull across the side body here. Nice job, you guys. It's a lot, I know. It's a lot. So listen to your body. Maybe you're here and you're reaching it that way. Actually, I can feel that in my upper back too where I'm pulling it. Oh, that feels so good. All right, let's go ahead and switch that leg. And after this, we're gonna go back to our knees and do a great upper back stretch. So right now we're getting that spinal twist. So reaching across or reaching for the toe or reaching for the thigh, okay? So listen to the body. Go to the point where you feel it. This is a challenge for you. And this next one, I always feel it in the back of my shoulder blades. It's called uh, thread the needle. So we're gonna do a, a really good thread the needle, okay? Which means when we're in our, on our knees, it's like a child's pose, but you bring one hand underneath and you twist. So it'll be a good one, guys. It'll be a good one. So stick around, don't, don't skip these stretches. All right, let's go ahead. Get into position, knees. Woo, you can even curl your toes if you want. Get a good stretch in those toes. You're reaching and all you're doing, let's go ahead and without, don't do the reach first. You're gonna take the hand, swing it through and then you're gonna open up to the side. But thing that I do here, make sure your hips are center, okay? You can open up that way. And kind of look up if you can. Use your top arm to kind of twist the body. And when I do that, my hips kick out. So I need to make sure that my, my hips stay centered. Oh, I just felt that little back crack right there. Now, palms face up on the bottom arm. Now I feel that pull right behind my shoulder. Feels so good. I can't get a deeper stretch in my shoulder. But this move always does it. You just have to really be um, like, know where you're at with your body. Your hips stay center. All right, bring it up. Same thing, other side. Other hand goes, oh, sorry. Other hand goes away from the camera, away from me. And you wanna make sure that you drop your head and then push your hips back to center. Take your top arm, brace it, and use that leverage to look up past your armpit. Again, you're gonna feel that back there. Good stretch for your rhomboids. Woo! 
Woo! Make sure those hips kick back to center. Guys, I think this was our sixth one. We might be done. And if we're not, we'll just like chillax. Whew, keep breathing. Give me that twist. Wow. I am feeling it. Whew. All right, come back to center. Oh, okay. Let me take a look at that. Good job, you guys. Oh yeah, Streamlabs just posted that thing. Um, if you ever get ads, if you subscribe, you will never get ads again. I mean, each month you have to resubscribe. We're done!